wind at night, one night in Japan. Officials in Japan said that most of the radioactive fallout traveled to the east over the Pacific. The USS Ronald Reagan was 100 miles offshore when they were hit by the plume. And they moved the ship to the west side of Japan because the radiation was so bad, 100 miles offshore. Later on, we started getting radiation uh, detected on the west coast, but the IPC was nowhere in sight. The NRA, uh, the NRC was nowhere uh, to be heard. The EPA did not inform the public. We were basically all left uh, to figure this out for ourselves and listen to CNN and whatever first-hand uh, reports came in. I felt so uninformed by all this amazing organization that we have here and all these amazing federal agencies uh, that I bought my own Geiger counter. And I went into my kitchen out of curiosity because my children love milk. I poured a glass of milk and ran the Geiger counter over the glass and it registered radiation. Now, I don't know if any of you have children, but those are the most precious things in my life. And to know a father speaking his children radioactive food because the agencies that are supposed to be telling me that this stuff is in the environment, it's in my food, it's dangerous and I should be protecting myself, are absolutely dead silent on the issue. That's how I got involved. That's how I actually started to go online and started doing research. There's a, there's a, there's a, 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 a huge amount of research on the internet about uh, Senate hearings, about this issue, and it goes back decades. I mean, this, this technology is perhaps the largest moral miscalculation in California's history. Using nuclear power is absolutely a mistake. And I think what we have here tonight is we have a discussion about technical issues. This is not a technical question anymore. Fukushima clarified that. It's not a technical question. It's a moral question for society. Do we want to have a utility that risks all of our lives to provide us with 7% of our electricity? When my Cox goes out, Cox cable goes out, and when or when the garbage doesn't get collected, they don't send me pills to save my family from uncertain death. Why should we have a power company that provides its power through a technology that risks our lives? Now, I know the Price-Anderson Act guarantees a disaster uh, relief of $12 billion, but right now Japan's facing a $234 billion uh, a hit to its economy because of Fukushima, and it's still spiraling out of control. In the end, uh, I just want to say that it's the ratepayers that have paid to build that plant. It's the ratepayers who are paying to decommission that through fees. It's the ratepayers that will pay for mitigation through FEMA or any other emergency mitigation. So please listen to the public. They're the one financing this nightmare. Thank you.